It started as a routine traffic stop near 73rd and Adams. Shots fired, shots fired, get out fast. Quickly, everything's changing. Police tell me that their stop turned up a felon, that he pulled a gun and fired. I just heard it, looked, then went back, and then five minutes later, the street was crowded. Sirens blared. More than 20 police cruisers could be spotted filling the streets. Bullets were flying. Don't get too close to that house. The police presence was growing, but people had holed up inside a home. There was a concern because according to initial reports, someone had actually left the house you see here and shot at police. We still got parties in the house. I'm not sure what's going on up here, but we definitely have one party that's down. One of ours or one of theirs? Theirs. Police have since confirmed that suspect is, in fact, dead. One man who police asked to stay inside talked to me by phone as all this was still happening. At the time, he said it was a nightmare situation unfolding. Well, there's police everywhere. There's a body laying behind a police car. There's two or three police that were uh, hunched over. One looked like he had been shot because he was hobbled. We know this morning two officers were hurt. Both are expected to live. After that initial burst of gunfire, no more shots were fired as more people were taken into custody, including this suspect we caught on camera. Uh, police aren't expected to release new details about who those suspects are until later today. Of course, you can stay with us both on air and online at WOWT.com. Matthew Smith, WOWT 6 News.